Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean up your SVG files that you may have exported or downloaded from Canva or converted from PNG to SVG. I'm going to show you how to clean that up on Cricut Design Space. Sometimes when we do a conversion from PNG to SVG, the file looks a little dirty on the, or the image actually rather looks a little dirty and I'll show you what, what I mean by that. Um, so let's go ahead and start this process. I actually have a design of my logo, which I designed here. It says TJ Lifestyle and it's beach, please. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do with this design is we're going to download that. And we'll click on the download button here. We have the PNG file, which is suggested. It's already selected. And we're gonna go ahead and click on the transparent background here. And then we hit the download button it's going to send that to my downloads folder and I'm going to go ahead and grab that and convert that. And of course an SVG file is usually easy to work with. So we want to go ahead and grab that SVG file and upload it to our Cricut Design Space. SVG actually stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. Uh, it's, a, it's a common vector image format widely used on various software and applications used extensively in the crafting and print industry. They use because they can be scaled to any dimension without being pixelated or losing print quality. In other words, they have infinite resolution with lighter file sizes, so they're not as heavier as PNG or rasterized or raster images. And again, it can be scalable infinitely because the image is made up of mathematically defined lines, curves, and shapes, so it's not pixelated. So when you increase the size of that image, say you wanted to print out um, a design and you wanted to make it very very large you wanted to make it a, a poster um, it doesn't lose any quality. SVGs are different from raster files which are composed of pixels. So SVGs can be designed using various software applications like Adobe Photoshop and most of what I use is Adobe Illustrator and then I export as an SVG file. Graphic designers mostly use Adobe Illustrator like I do or Inkscape which I've never used to design vector images. And SVGs are also used on websites as they could be rendered on web browsers. SVGs usually support three types of graphics, um, namely text, lines, and paths. And they're also reusable, um, and they usually produce very, very realistic results. What I'm gonna be using today to convert that PNG file that I just exported from Canva is PNG to SVG converter. So let's go ahead and click on that and go online. PNG to SVG.com. You hit enter. PNG to SVG converter is, is one of the only free tools online which converts an image format uh, to a colored SVG file. With most of the programs online, and I've seen them, they only provide a single color and low quality output. This is probably one of the best online tools that I've found. So that file that we saved in our downloads folder, we wanna go ahead here, we can drag that and drop it here, or we can hit choose a file. And here's the PNG file that was downloaded. I want to click on that and click open. At this point it's going to on the window on the left it's going to show you your palette and all the colors and I'm going to go ahead and count the colors so I can pick my palette based on the colors I have available on the screen. What we have here is a green which is one, two, three, four, five. Okay we already have a red. Six, seven, eight, and there's a shadow here. I'm gonna leave the shadow here nine, which typically it doesn't pick 10. Nine is, I think, usually the maximum. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick nine colors here, and it's gonna be all messed up because it needs you to pick the actual palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the first palette here and put my dropper, hover over my green, click on that. The next one, I'm gonna hover over this color. The next one, hover over that color. The next one, hover over my red. Next one is my black. And the next one is my lifestyle color, which is right here. Sometimes you have to kind of hover, kind of hover, hover over past it and it selects it. My next one is my beach, which is my light blue. My second to the last one is my yellow. And my last one is the shadow underneath the yellow which is right there. Okay, once I have my palette with my nine colors, I'm gonna hit the generate button right here on the lower right-hand corner. 
it's going to reduce the image and then generate the vector and vectorize the image mathematically and I'm left with this and that looks actually exactly like this on the left side once I'm happy with that image I'm gonna hit download SVG file and it's gonna send that to my downloads folder which is how I automatically have that saved now then I'm gonna go over to Cricut Design Space right here uh, start off with a blank canvas then I hit the upload button on the left hand corner right here and then under upload image I click on that and then I can either drag or drop the file that I have saved or I can hit the browse button which is what I'm gonna do once I hit the browse button I'm gonna look for that image that I just vectorized and here it is I'm gonna click on that and hit open it shows me do you want to cut that image replace the image I'm gonna to want to cut it so I leave it as is and I'm gonna to go to the lower right hand corner here and click on the upload button I'm gonna see that image here highlight that click on that and hit add to canvas on the lower right hand corner my image is gonna come in sometimes it comes in smaller um, I'm going to increase the size of that so you can see that and of course right here under size I'm gonna increase it proportionately so I'm gonna have that padlock locked okay I want to have that padlock locked so I have right now 5.45 in width by 6.573 in height I'm going to change the height to an 11.5 and hit enter once I do that my image increases in size and I'm going to go ahead and increase that a little more let's make the width 11.5 and hit enter as you can see if you look closely these I mean, it, it looks like a great image, but there's some dirt here and not not dirt, but just like little lines that you don't want when you send it to your Cricut um, cutting machine to cut these lines and these would be impossible to weed. So you don't want these extra lines because if I click on make it right now, you'll see that it's going to it's going to have several different layers, but it's going to have on mat. Mat size is 12 by 12. I'm going to say 12 by 24. I'm going to hit confirm but I'm just doing this to show you that if you look at here in addition to cutting this curve right here these two curves there's a line here that it's going to also cut if I go here that one's clean I'll do a basic cut here see there's little little lines here that kind of dirty up the image and you don't want that when you're sending it to your Cricut cutting machine so these lines I'm going to take out and here's what, how we're going to do that all right see that very very dirty looking image so I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel on the bottom right hand corner here I have my image here and what I like to do is if you look here on the right hand side I have my layers here and what I like to do is work in layers so I'm going to take each layer I'm going to hide the rest of the layer and I'm going to clean that up and here's how I'm going to clean that up okay so what I do is I'm going to select this and then hide well I'm just going to hide the rest of the layers so we can clean them one layer at a time okay so I'm gonna hide the rest of these layers and as you can see I have that little swatch here of green color with some extras right here so I want to leave that on the left hand side and I have that one layer selected I'm gonna go ahead and select that layer and hit on the bottom here contour so it's gonna show me all my contour images that are in this in this design or contour marks that are in this design so I don't want these to show so here's what I'm gonna to have to do I'm gonna hide all contours and that's gonna hide everything and usually select whatever you want to show but I don't want this to show so I'm gonna deselect that and then I'm just gonna go out here hit the X button or just click the, the space and you, as you can see right now it's cleaned it up I only have that little arch left so I'm gonna go ahead to the next layer and unhide that and hide this layer and as you can see this shows correctly except there's a little bit of lines that we need to clean up here I select that image layer and I hit contour and then I hide all contours you can either hide all contours show all contours or you can just select what you want okay but I'm gonna go ahead and hit hide all contours and it's gonna select just this image I don't have to go ahead and delete these I just selected that and then I hit my X and that's cleaned up and I'm gonna go ahead and unhide the next layer and hide the bottom layer 
there's a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done here. As you can see, there's some black marks here. I'm going to highlight that layer and hit contour, hide all contours. And as you can see, it selects only what I need. All right, I click out of it and I have that. I'm going to go ahead and unhide the next layer and hide that layer. My Chi J, it looks good, but I'm still going to do the contour. Click on contour button. And I'm going to hide all contours just to clean it up. As you can see, some of these marks you can't see on the screen, but they're there. So you want to clean that up because you don't want your cutting machine to have to cut a whole bunch of lines that you don't need. So I'm going to hide all contours. It's going to have that. Then I'm going to select what I need. I need that. You can select it either here or you can select it on the screen, but I choose to select it here. I'm going to select this part of the A, the H, my Y. Let's go ahead and undo that that way. Um, I need to move this. Let's shrink that a little bit just so we can see it on the left side when we contour. Okay. And then I'm going to head, go ahead and select my layer that I want to clean up and hit contour again so we can actually see what we're working with here on the, on the left side. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hit hide all contours. I've selected my needle. I need to select that, that, and I just go ahead and select the ones that I want displayed or shown in my image. I got my Y, I got my J, scroll down to C, and I can select it here or here. It's easier to select it here, and then I have my I. And so you see all the rest of these, I want them hidden, okay? These marks are hidden, that way my TJ is clean click on the X button as you can see it's way cleaner than it was before I'm gonna go at 100% so you can see that see that much better all right now I'm gonna go ahead and unselect or unhide the layer above that and hide my TJ layer I still have a little bit of markings here so I'm gonna hit my layer and hit contour okay again hide all contours I got that selected I got my next one selected and I got that selected and that's all I need all these I don't want so I'm gonna X out of it and then I have my layer saved so that's clean I'm gonna unhide the top layer and hide the bottom layer you see lifestyle has got a whole bunch of um, unwanted markings and lines that I don't want so again I'm gonna click on my layer hit contour it's gonna show me my lifestyle with all the markings I'm gonna hit hide all contours and select each letter that I want displayed okay got the L the F the S the I and as you can see on the left I have a clean lifestyle uh, lettering lifestyle image I'm gonna select out of it the box and I have my lifestyle image selected and it's all cleaned up all right now I'm going to unhide the layer above that and hide my lifestyle layer and as you can see this layer has also some unwanted lines on the beach so i'm going to click on my beach layer and hit the contour and once it pops up and it's taking this long because there are a lot of unwanted lines showing in this image okay once you have that displayed again same thing hide all contours select only what you need on that image select that part of it inner part of the H, inner part of the E, that little line there and I think we are all done. All these lines are unneeded. Look at all these lines that would have been it would have been almost impossible to weed out. Okay. If I click on it, it shows up. There's a little dot right here that popped. Anyway, I like the way it looks. I'm gonna click out of that box and now I'm going to unhide the layer above that and hide this beach layer. And now I have please. It looks good, but I'm gonna go ahead and contour it anyway just to see if there are any extra lines and sometimes it's hard to see but as you can see when I scroll down see all the lines here that I don't want it they just look like shredded pieces or hair follicles or hair standing out of the please image so I'm going to again hide all contours once I had all contours it's already has the please selected I'm gonna select the inside that part this part that part and as you can see as I'm selecting them they are showing on this image so you can use that as a reference select that in a part of the and 
let's see what that is okay that's the inner part of the s and so i think i have everything exactly in the way i need it to look like please okay the rest of them i don't need so i x out or i click outside of the box and we're good to go on the please and i got one more layer i'm going to go to my right hand corner unhide the layer above and hide my please and this is the shadow of the please which is my ninth color on my palette when I was converting my PNG to SVG so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that layer hit contour once I hit contour it's gonna see all that you're gonna see all the lines on the bottom that are not needed so again hide all contours select that and I'm gonna select all the parts of this image or this graphic or this design that I need okay select that 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 boom right there and I have that that and that that part of the shadows and that's the bottom part bottom right hand side of the E part of the S underneath the E underneath the other E okay it's part of the A and this I don't need okay so now we're ready we're good to go let's just make sure oh there's another piece right there usually you can tell by you know some of them are lines and this one is well, like a, a shape that you might need so I click on that let's see if there's any more nope if I scroll all the way down here and select that I don't need that so I'm good to go I hit the X button and now we have a clean image okay no more hanging lines from the lifestyle and no more and that will be very um, clean image and I'll be ready to make that and transfer that to a t-shirt and if I hit make it you'll have clean lines you have my black you have my other color this is my shadow and the rest of the images are all clean with no extra lines saving you uh, vinyl and not having to cut around it so all you need is just this amount of vinyl and you could keep you know the rest for scrap uh, after you've cut it on your cutting mat okay hope this helps thank you